Brent Tech here. Where Tech is made simple, Microsoft has started to roll out some changes to customize the theme of the new tab page background in the stable version of the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop, which I noticed this morning uh, in my region on my Windows 10 device in Edge and not on my Windows 11 device. So currently seems to be on a controlled rollout. Now, just to get you up to speed as to how things used to look to customize the new tab page background, if we just head quickly over to Edge Canary, page settings, this is what things used to look like. You got your background menu with options to turn that off image of the day, image or video of the day, your own image or custom theme. Now, if we head back to the stable version, page settings of the new tab page, this is how things now look after Microsoft has rolled these changes out. You still get custom theme that you can manage, but now you get background, edit background, where you get a whole new menu to customize the background of the new tab page. And at this stage, I must just say at the outset, I don't know if this is on a controlled rollout A-B testing. So Microsoft could be testing this feature uh, for a limited set of users as they are known to do. And when they roll out features like this in the stable version, and I don't know if it's going to be yet to stay or if Microsoft may remove this like they are also known to do over the next coming days and or weeks. But nonetheless, it's here for now. So just to get you up to speed, if you haven't seen this new layout and this customized background menu and options in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. Now, um, just to go through this from top to bottom from for the purpose of this video, yeah, you can see you get the description for that actual image being displayed. You can apply, like, dislike, and you can turn that background on and off. And yeah, you can upload your own image. And yeah, we get um, a whole sub menu of different images and videos that you can actually manually apply now to uh, the new tab page background and it seems to be predominantly videos as you can see and seems very similar to what you get in the google chrome web browser where you can actually select different images uh, manually to be displayed and um, for the new tab page so obviously um, microsoft making a couple of changes in that regard so let's just choose a video uh, just to be displayed for this um, example and there we go and i must just, just click apply and there we go that's the um, the image or the video of the day, which is now just collated in that new menu. So while that runs, uh, if we just head back to edit background, just to go through some other options in that customized background menu. Uh, yeah, we get change new background daily. You can turn that on and off, include video backgrounds in daily rotation, option to turn that on and off, and then show image spotlight text, which you can actually move that spotlight text by toggling that off and you can leave that on, which is the default. Now, yes, some interesting settings regarding video settings at the bottom, which I actually think um, are a move in the right direction. Choose our videos function based on your device and internet connection. Now, balanced is the default. Yeah, we get energy saver, which I think may help a lot of users, especially on limited bandwidth or a capped internet and a low budget device. You can autoplay works only if device is plugged in. Video stop after one playthrough. Um, videos play at 720p and autoplay works only if network connection is fast. So I think this is a move in the right direction because um, as mentioned, this um, video of the day was a little bit resource hungry and now Microsoft has rolled out some changes in that regard. So just um, bringing it to your attention if you haven't seen this already, that Microsoft is now testing this new customized background or maybe rolling this out as a new feature. It's not at this stage assigned to any update that I've noticed over the last couple of days. So um, if anything does change, I will let you know and post accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.